Selamat datang kembali. Welcome back to Bali Unveiled. In today's episode, we're talking about food and cuisine, what to eat, where to eat, when to eat. In Bali and in Indonesia as a whole, because there's a lot of dishes that are shared throughout the archipelago. So let's jump into it. Little note before we dive into the culinary scene. Know that Indonesian people love spicy food, Balinese people too. And if you're not really into it, when you're ordering to the staff or the waiter, ask for not pedas, pedas, which means spicy. And sometimes they say it's not too spicy, but it really is. So be careful with that if you're sensitive. And if you're on the other side of the spectrum and you love spicy food, know that Indonesia offers a lot of variety in spicy sauces. Just ask for the sambal, that is their spicy sauce. Put in the comments below if you love spicy food. I do, but I know that it upsets my stomach and digestive system, but I mean, it's it's good, right? And people who eat spicy foods tend to live longer, so that's a that's a win-win. Indonesia is a rich cuisine. As I've mentioned a few times in this series, Indonesia is composed of 17,000 islands, a bit more, and each island is pretty unique in terms of culture and therefore in dishes. So. If you're staying a few days, a few weeks in Bali, you will be able to eat different dishes every day for your breakfast, lunch and dinner. And you will not even scratch the surface of Indonesian cuisine. There's a lot to discover. Like most Asian countries, you will find a lot of rice in Indonesian cuisine. But it is different from other Asian countries because Indonesia has a lot of colored rice. So they have yellow, red, green, blue, white, of course. And the difference is in the spices they use to cook the rice. So the rice has different flavors and they use these different varieties depending on the occasion and also depending on the island they're in. One of the most well-known dishes in Indonesia is the nasi goreng. Nasi means rice, so you will find nasi a lot in the dishes. And goreng means fried. You will notably find goreng in the street food because they tend to fry a lot of stuff. Nasi goreng means fried rice. And I think that you should try at least once a nasi goreng in Indonesia, in Bali. You'll see it's different from other Asian countries. And I mean, try it out. I think that one of the best ways to try Indonesian food is with the nasi campur. Campur means mixed, so it's mixed rice. So you have a dish with as a base rice, and you get to choose from a buffet a lot of dishes, a lot of vegetables, meats, and other ingredients. And you will most likely find these buffet types of meals in Padang restaurants. So Padang is a particular city in Indonesia and their style of restaurants is a big buffet. So I will write it down just here, Padang. Just search for Padang restaurants and you will find these enormous buffets uh, with a lot of choices and you will be able to try it, everything out. Usually these types of restaurants have a big window in the front of their restaurants when you're driving up on the road in Bali and you will be able to choose from that window and see that what is available so they are pretty easy to spot because it's a restaurant and they have a big window with a lot of food a lot of uh, plates with food inside so easy to find and really recommend this way to really try out different things in only one plate so a lot of dishes in Bali are served with rice the most famous are lawar. Lawar is a mix of vegetables. You will sometimes find meat or fish with it, but it's mostly herbs and spices that are mixed with vegetables and it's really delicious. Second one is babiguling. That means roasted pig. What they usually do is roast a whole pig and you can eat the skin, you can eat the meat, you can eat other stuff too. And it's served with a particular sauce, usually spicy, but you can find some non-spicy ones. But it's a really good sauce, served with rice, and you will find them in the street because 
they usually display the head of the pig in front of the restaurant so you will notice them pretty easily. Third one is ayam batutu and bebek batutu. Difference is one is chicken and the other one is duck. The traditional way to cook this is to put some hot stones in the dirt, dig a hole, put some hot material in the ground. You wrap the dish in banana leaves, you put them in the ground, you bury it with dirt, you let it cook, slowly cooking for hours, and then you take it out and you eat what's inside. And it's a delicious dish with particular spices that are unique to Bali. So really try this one out and you won't regret it. We're on an island, surrounded by sea. Of course, there will be seafood. The best and freshest seafood, you will find them in Jimaran, which is in the south of the island, where you will find fish markets and seafood restaurants, a lot of them. So you have a lot of choice. I'm sure you will find one that suits your taste. So check it out and go there to eat some fish. It's particularly easy in Bali and Indonesia to eat only vegetarian or vegan food because there's a lot of options and they have a lot of vegetables that they use in everyday dishes and you can just get rid of the meat each time and a lot of savor to it. A lot of variety so you will never get bored if you're vegetarian or vegan. The first dish that I absolutely love is called urap. Urap is beans, coconut and some spices. You can summarize it into that and it's so delicious. I, I mean, I think when I came back to Bali that was the first dish I was craving because it's really good. The main reason Indonesians are able to eat vegetarian or vegan all the time is their tofu and tempeh. You know tofu and tempeh is a particular fermented soybean based dish and it's rich in proteins and everything and it's really good. You can mix it up in a lot of dishes and it's very versatile. You can find them abroad, but here it's super cheap and everybody can do it. So it's a good alternative to meat. You'll find them everywhere. Just try tempeh and you will fall in love with it. Even if you're not vegetarian, you will see that it's really good and I mean, just try it out. I also want to put an emphasis on fruits because there's a lot of fruits, tropical fruits in Indonesia, also Bali. The main ones I want you to try because you will only find them in Indonesia and some other Asian countries are the salak. Salak is snake fruit. It's a particular fruit and you, there are sour ones and sweet ones. Try to take the sweet ones and it's maybe my favorite fruit. It's really good. Next one is mangis. In English, I think it's mangustine. It's a purple fruit with a really hard shell and the inside is white and it's really sweet. It's really good. And I think you will only find them in Southeast Asia and try it because it may be your favorite fruit. Third one is rambutan which literally translates to hairy stuff. So it's a red fruit with hairs coming out of it. It's a bit like a lychee, uh, but it's different and it's also very good. Those are the three recommendations I have if you want to try some new fruits. But then you can also find fruits like durian, which is the smelly fruit, uh, jackfruit, um, mangoes, dragon fruit, avocados, and all those fruits are really good here. So while you are eating, you might want to drink. The particular liquor, rice liquor they do in Bali is called arak. Be careful because you may go blind if you drink too much of arak because it's a lot of ethanol in it and it's not really purified. But don't worry if you only drink a bit just to try. You won't have any consequences apart from maybe a hangover the next day. Uh, aside from that, there's also the jamu, which is a particular drink that is always different because they put a lot of stuff in it and it's supposedly a healing 
ocean, so Jammu, and you'll find them in the street and also in some restaurants. It's something to try out because they put a lot of spices, ginger, turmeric, other stuff, and it sometimes have a particular taste, and it can be totally different from restaurant to restaurant. I can't tell you how it tastes because it will always be different, but it's something to try. It's a traditional drink that you use when you're sick or where when you want more energy. There's a lot of different types of jamu. Terima kasih banyak. Thank you for listening. I hope that I made you a bit hungry and want to try all these different kinds of food. I will do some episodes where I go to some street foods merchants and I will try out some food to tell you where to go and what to eat. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you in the next one.